all of a sudden I feel like I'm being watched. I am being watched. We're at the Salmonens farm in Chatham. Are those guys, oh, are they gonna run? I feel like I'm being watched, Gary. Those two. Huh? Oh, I'm being watched by those two. Oh, no, one went, just went down. It's just the one. Good morning. This is our little raspberry patch in the backyard. Raspberries are coming up. It's going to be overcast but warm today. We are looking forward to it. Right, Gary? Yes, we are. While they're doing big boy construction over there, our little project over here. Project pull the trash out of the yard. We have the yard of mysteries because there's a some kind of wooden base or something down there. Maybe it was, it's either an old chicken coop or there's somebody buried under there. That's my quick assessment. See, there's wood here, another piece here, and a tea part there. I wonder how far this goes. Think it's gonna come up or no? Eventually, I'll dig it up. Okay. Well, looks like he's got the grass it. Grass is rooted through it, so yeah, it right. What do you think I should use to cut this? I have snips. Snips, like these ones. Snips. Okay, coming. It took a lot of shoveling and uh, pulling, etc. But Gary got it out, and now I'm using it. Some of it for the corners of my groundhog fence, the metal piece. So that's great that I don't have to try to find a different uh, way to take care of the corners of the garden. We're gonna start a new garden because we have more bulbs to move over from the front of the house. 
based on the way the construction is going to take place. So Gary's going to give it a shot with the edger, which is pretty fun. Turn to camera a little later. Hi, Gary. Hi. It's warm enough today to take a little walk in Munising's Bay Shore Park. Very lovely. Uh, we walked 1.8 miles. That's Grand Island out there. We live over there. Um, lots of tourists. They got the, the Pictured Rocks boat tours started up, so tourists are back. Um, the restaurants are coming back to life. Got a veterans area over, memorial over there. Um, that building there is where they have the farmer's market, we think. Um, a nice day for a walk in the park that's and now we're going back to work more on a flower bed yay see you later making progress on the new flower bed going to see if there's a 
permit sticker on our construction spot. The moment of truth. I don't see anything. I hope so. Seems like it should be right there. I would think so. Yeah, no. Oh, you got one? Yep, right by the door. Approved. Oh, okay. Do, 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 do. Approved. That's the smallest ass <laughs> permit sticker I've ever seen. But there it is. We're approved. Good to go. Okay, we moved some of these from the area that's going to be under construction. So, we'll see. I don't know how well this stuff's going to do. It's kind of weird. We'll see. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. We want to show you the train in Munising. Super exciting. Wisconsin and Southern. Not like West Chicago, but we do have a train and Gary thinks this is probably purely for the paper mill, which is possibly very true. Super cool. Gary and I ordered some Main Street pizza. Pretty excited. It's no Al's. But they do have this. So that's good. And look at that pizza right there. So we're excited. We're ready for some dinner. These are my little guys who started out as seedlings. So they're going to come out. and get hardied up for the day in the sunshine. I'm gonna put them right there. Some of the stuff wasn't so ready, so you can see these little dill guys hanging out with the cucumbers. They didn't make it in yesterday's hardiness attempt. These guys are doing okay after yesterday's hardiness test out here. In fact, they're getting little more dill-like sprouts on them, so. Everything out here did okay, except for those dill. And then inside, some of my chili peppers didn't make it. Some of my parsley didn't make it. I'll show you those. Uh, so um, where we dug up the land over there to make that little flower bed to replant some of the bulbs we're gonna lose, a lot of that soil over there the top was moss and I know it looks like grass but there's just all of it has a lot a lot of moss and um, so I thought I would use that moss as the base of my hanging planters to put some hanging flowers around it so I'm gonna give that a try I have so I'm gonna break this up this, this inner layer and then I have potting soil, I'm gonna put potting soil and then I'm gonna give them all a few petunias to give that a try. Okay, I scooped out my little, my little sod. So this planter started like this and I scooped out a bunch of this and put it in here. Um, I was going to add it to the potting soil, but I thought I'll add it to the dirt in the garden. That's fine. Then I have membrane. Oops, that's my thumb. <coughs> so I scoop this out. <coughs> then I 
you know, we pulled up that front flower bed and there's this leftover membrane. So I um, cut a piece of that and then put it inside <laughs> the thing that I scooped, the sod that I scooped out, the mossy sod that I scooped out. And then um, there's a hole, there's actually a hole in the bottom of that membrane. So it's a lot of this potting soil is actually touching the sod dirt portion that's from the underside of the sod and then this is potting soil and i'm gonna now cut off the sides make it look a little better just to have a little bit of an edge popping up and then i'm gonna put a few flowers in here and see how it goes we'll see good luck little flowers while we're waiting for the cement truck to get here, we can take stock of our planted planted flowers. They're looking okay. Got some rain and some wind last night. We did these guys a little bit. I mean, there's still grass around, but it's thinned out. Everybody looks happy over here. Oh, oh, shoot. It's so pretty this morning and I'm getting ready to do my groundhog fence, but I thought I would just, just take a seat and enjoy this yard for a few minutes. Lots of birds, apple blossoms are coming in. Oh man, it's just perfect. It's just perfect. Did some lawn mowing out here, some weed whacking. I actually started the pool thing, the yank chain thing on the pull chain thing on the weed whacker by myself. Pretty exciting. Gary showed me how. Anyway, just a super pretty morning. And I have a lot of work to do today, but you know what? We bought this beautiful property for a reason and sitting here and enjoying it is part of that. So that's what's happening. Look at that. Oh, yes. It's so great. Thank you, Jimmy, for the rototiller. It's so good. <sighs> yeah. Feeling it. We are going to try to have a garden. Oh, and since I'm updating anyway, I might as well show the groundhog fence fortress can you see that so we have there is a fine mesh foot down it goes all the way around i can't tell it goes around here all the way around around 
pretty apple blossoms as a little intermission. Goes around. Oop, my cat hit the tree. Goes around. Goes around. Yes. So we have groundhog fence. I love the bee sound in here. Hopefully you'll be able to hear it and be able to find a couple bees for you. It's so cool. Oh, there's one. We're actually surrounded by them. I don't know if you can hear. I hope you can hear the buzzing. It's so cool. Anyway, I started this video not because I love the bees, but because I'm so happy with what I've gotten done in the garden today. And I just, <laughs> uh, it's nice to see it sort of pristine before I guess creatures start raiding it. I don't know, or it becomes a disaster from rain or something. I don't know. Uh, so I was able to claim more dirt from the construction area um, uh, to make, I decided to do these higher rows because you remember that there was so much what like that side down there is lower it's like this place is sloped that way so there was like a swimming pool area so um i decided on my planting order based on what i saw in like farmer's almanac for what's good to plant next to each other so this side is going to be potatoes um here and then this is going to be cabbage i'm not planting cabbage today and this is going to be kale which i recall that i can plant directly into the ground i don't have to start seedlings inside so i'm going to plant that today and then this row is going to be onions and then i have two more to do uh tomatoes and cucumbers actually yes two more to do tomatoes and cucumbers oh no no, no. sorry yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomatoes and cucumbers that are not ready to plant. I've been reading up on the when to plant those and those seedlings would not be hardy enough yet to plant outside. So they gotta get sturdier. Um, I'm also gonna plant a little garlic over by the potatoes, which I understand is also good for companion planting. Doesn't it look so pretty? Oh, I'm so excited. So in addition to the uh, soil I brought over from the construction area, um, in my little wagon that Gary got us, um, which, so that I did that. And then also, um, I found this mixture recipe for, um, to help add nutritious soil if needed to. And that is equal parts sand, topsoil, and compost manure. Um, which was all very cheap um, locally. So I got some of that and added just a layer of that. I didn't go crazy with it because I didn't want to, I don't want to make this an expensive venture, hopefully. Anywho, um, I will record a little bit of planting. I don't have too much battery left today, but I'll record a little bit of planting and then wish us luck out here. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, whatever.
This is the day after my seed planting, and boy, is it a good thing I went with the hills. Because, yep, case in point, uh, I don't, I'm scared. Speechless the amount of water that's right in there. But anyway, uh, fortunately, these guys don't look like they're eroding away. So my seeds hopefully staying in place. These guys I can tell because they have little tops. So they look like they're staying in place. But when the rain stops, <clears throat> Tomorrow or the day after, I can just double check and fortify if I need to. We'll see. Pretty rainy. Mosquitoes love it. Thank you. 